Hello! Well, today I have a diesel-fired electric power washer. So that's, it runs on electricity, but uses diesel to heat the water up. And as it stands just now, it, well, it doesn't. Well, we don't know if it doesn't. We got it like it is, unknown, doesn't know if it runs. I have to see if I can get it up and running and see if it actually works. So, the first few things that I noticed. This was the thermostat. That's supposed to be, that's the thermostat bulb underneath the output of the hot water. As you can see, it's not attached. And the other one was these uh, diesel lines. Well, they were perished. They were pushing diesel all over the floor. So I've replaced them and see if that works. Stage one is to connect up power and power and power and water. See if it leaks out anywhere. And then we'll go from there by attaching electricity. See if it then fires up and becomes pressure washer. And then we'll see if we can get diesel fire. So, let's do that. Stage one, the hose. Oh, it's got water, okay. And we should be able to plug on here. Did, did it kind of one hand? Hey, No leaks. Well, apart from there, that's okay. But it's not pushing out of anywhere. Stage two, electrics. Right, we have our sketchy electricity connected, which I will now plug into an RCCD connected outlet, so as not to get electrocuted. Okay, first step, make sure it's off. Off. And then we will connect the pressure washer once. And we'll make sure the thermostat, let me just bring it up a bit. The thermostat is off, so it doesn't try and fire up the diesel. Okay, that's your buzz. Ready to plug it in. Okay, let's turn it on. Nothing. One click. Okay. And now, diagnostics begin. This is the rat's nest of wiring that I've been left with. <sighs> I'm still not entirely sure where everything goes, but that's the main on-off switch. Con not contactor, but it's a an on-off on -off switch, essentially. That's a contactor, and from what I can tell, works. There's like a timer relay here for something. Another Omron relay. That's the knackered thermostat. But I'd like to show you what it's happening, or what it's doing or not doing. So, I've taken the hydraulic pump off, it's just four bolts onto the front of this motor so you can get the shaft spinning, see it spins nice and freely, so the motor's not seized. Uh, allow me to put my phone down and then show you this. Alright, you can see, see it now. Right. Allow me to turn the power on. Power's on. I need Two, screw two screwdrivers for this, one to push the contactor and the other one you'll see in a minute. So this is what happens when the contactor goes in. See the motor? Doesn't know which way to spin. And sometimes it'll actually stall and then just blow the fuse. But, if you start it spinning... Oh, which way is it spinning? The other way. That way. Oh. This way. I got to do it a minute ago. It would actually spin quite happy. I don't really want to put my fingers anywhere near it. See? It'll spin away quite happily. So I'm going to assume that the start capacitor is either missing, because I don't see it anywhere in here, or out there. So I'm going to have to 
Go on in, uh, start googling and try and find out where the start capacitor is supposed to be.